Welcome to another edition of Mission Update from Apollo, the ultimate all-in-one privacy coin and welcome also to your place for a helping of crypto news. I'm known in these parts as the Blockchain Braveheart or Colin Stone and a quick search of my name plus the word journalist will show you my background in television news right here in the UK. Which brings me on to today's Mission Update of headlines you may have missed from around the crypto world recently. Ready? Let's go. Starting with Airbnb and the confirmation just last week that mobile phone refill provider BitRefill has added an option to make reservations with the travel website using cryptocurrency. Customers can now effectively pay for their bookings with the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum by buying a voucher product in crypto equivalent to an amount in dollars. The feature is only currently available in the States and for stays of less than four weeks, but it's certainly another point on the map of Airbnb's crypto journey. Let's go to Canada now and an Ontario town running a pilot program allowing residents to pay some fees with crypto. Innisfil Council approved the plans last week after partnering with Coinberry Pay, enabling the people of Innisfil to return their property taxes using Bitcoin, which will be converted to Canadian dollars and transferred to the town. Of course, if you've got a good memory, you'll remember the American state of Ohio becoming the first to allow businesses to pay 23 types of tax using crypto. Clearly, it's inspiring others to follow suit. On to Switzerland now and the president of the Swiss Confederation, Uli Maurer, stressing the need for blockchain regulations to be fast and clear to allow the sector to thrive. Maurer made his remarks at the CV Crypto Valley Summit in Zug last Wednesday, according to a report from local agency Fin News. Maurer is also the country's finance minister and his comments come just days after the Swiss parliament began investigating potential law changes to improve the legal status of blockchain firms. Interesting stuff from the Swiss, as Maurer himself said, they're always looking for ways to stay two steps ahead. Finally, for today, to Japan and the story of how prosecutors there have reportedly dropped their appeal against the acquittal of former Mt. Gox CEO Mark Carpelles. Last month, the chief of the now defunct crypto exchange was cleared of charges of embezzlement but he was found guilty of tampering with financial records. According to local press in Japan, prosecutors had initially planned to appeal the embezzlement acquittal, but subsequently have decided to let the verdict stand. Carpeles was cleared of taking $3 million of customers' money from Mt. Gox accounts and spending it on a software developer and personal items. He was cleared of that, but he was found guilty of hiding the platform's financial losses. He'll only have to serve his two and a half year sentence unless he commits another offence by 2023. Well, that's all we have time for. A whistle stop tour as always, but I trust you found that as interesting as I did. And of course, for all the latest from Apollo, remember to check us out all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, you know the rest, Merch Store 2. Thank you once again for spending your valuable time with me on Apollo's Mission Update. I'll see you soon.